Hey everyone, welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. In today's episode, we're going to be going over the three things that we go over every single day on the channel. And those three things include where you guys can find Madame Nazar's location. We're also going to go over the daily challenges and also the collection sets and their current cycles. If you guys are enjoying these videos and want to continue seeing these videos, make sure that you guys go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. I've mentioned this before, but as the channel does grow, eventually I want to be able to do some giveaways here on the channel. So if you guys like some free stuff, make sure that you guys go ahead and do those things that I previously mentioned, along with making sure that you guys watch these videos in their entirety. Doing those things, well, we'll start doing some giveaways, hopefully very, very soon. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the collection sets and their current cycle. We're going to start with everything that involves using the field shovel first, because obviously that's was the most last most recent change i guess uh with the naturalist role so we got the fossils which will be a part of cycle number four the loss of jewelry at cycle number three arrowheads at cycle number four family heirlooms at cycle number four and then the coins at cycle number five we also have the next four sets that don't even need to be a collector at all in order to collect them but you do need to be a collector in order to sell them so we got american wildflowers at cycle number one tarot cards at cycle number one Antique alcohol bottles at cycle number one, and then the bird eggs at cycle number six. Now, if you guys are brand new to Red Dead Online because of the standalone purchase, make sure that you guys leave a comment down below if you guys have any questions regarding these things, because I'm going over the fact that I believe that most people on this channel know what those represent, but if you guys don't know or if I have any questions about anything that we go over, make sure that you guys leave that comment down below so that I can do my best to help you guys out. Also, if you guys would like me to change this format of this video just a little bit, maybe maybe spending a little bit less time on the daily challenges because the payout is so little, by all means, leave that comment down below because I want to try to change this up a little bit if this is something that a majority of people do want. When I've asked this before, a lot of people said don't change it, and that's when we're not changing it yet, but I'm just saying if people do want it to be changed, make sure that you guys go ahead and do that. All right, so let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the daily challenges. Let's just kind of get out of the way over here. And really, we're going to shoot my horse. So let's go ahead and go on and over the daily challenges for today. So starting with the daily gender challenges, we've got three cooked seasoned mutton, one cormorant plucked. We've got one defended a campsite, 500 distance swam, one multiplayer kill within five seconds in posse versus, and then two raccoon, American raccoon skinned, and then three player kills from cover in showdown. The bounty hunter role, we got two uh, bounties completed with at least one other posse member, three living bounty targets and a photograph really uh one bounty target or one bounty player bounty collected the trader roll we got one crypts special camp stew recipe completed six large animal carcasses donated to crypts one resupply mission completed with five minutes left the collector roll we got five uh, bird eggs found six collectibles collected and then three fossils found and then one drank strong own strong moonshine one a moonshine bar changed the core. One moonshine with at least five minutes left. Uh, we got five animal samples taken within 10 minutes. Two blending tonics crafted or used. And then three farmland animal samples taken. All right. So let's go ahead and move on to how to actually get all these completed. So we got three season button. Uh, cook those. You can do those on any campfire. It could be uh, your wilderness camp. Or it could actually be your camp camp, or it could be any of the wilderness or whatever campfires are out there in the wilderness. And you'll need mutton, which you can get uh, gritty mutton from killing any of the goats. You can find goats at um, Roskiller Fort, which is north of Tumbleweed. You can also find them at Emerald Station. One cormorant plucked. Um, for the most part, I have success just down below where uh, the cougar or the panther is at here, south of Rhodes along this shoreline right here typically it's right in this area i find the cormorants and they're usually there like early in the day or later in the day kind of one of those two um and that's my go-to location for them but i don't always find them down there but that's my best location that i can give to you guys otherwise you can find them flying around in the blue water marsh area so north of saint denis or even flying around the new heartland area but if you want them in a very specific spot, just go to that location on the map south of Rhodes where I showed you. Uh, defend the campsite. There's a couple different spots that they can happen. There are just, they naturally spawn inside the world. 
So you're going to have to kind of just ride around. There is a spot just north of San Denis where I'm currently located, uh, which is going to be really pretty much between the A and the R in Mars. So right here is a really good spot for one from time to time. Otherwise, you can actually find one way out west over by the, the tumbleweed area. Uh, so pretty much right here by the E. Uh, there's a, a really good spot right here that will usually show up as well. I'm uh, moving on to the next one. We got a distance of 500 swam. Um, this one's pretty easy to go. Dude, just any body of water where you can actually not touch the bottom of the river or the bottom of the, the lake, wherever you can do this at, this is where you want to be able to swim. And it will take a little bit of time, but it's really not that difficult to get that one completed. One multiplayer kill within five seconds in a posse versus. Obviously, this will require you guys to be in a posse, first of all. Um, but you need to at least have two other players i've never been able to do this with one other posse member it has to have two in order to do this and then you can get two people to stand next to each other and just place down a piece of dynamite or what however you want to do a um, explosive arrow works as well uh we got two north american raccoon skin you can find raccoons pretty much anywhere tall trees is a really good opportunity and in the cumberland forest area is another good spot you can find these around the new hanover as well where there's not a lot of trees um, you can find them. They're just not as common, but there's still quite a few of them in that location. And then we got three player kills from cover in Showdown. So as long as you're hiding behind something, it could be a tree, it could be a rock, it could be a building, really whatever. It doesn't matter. And go ahead and get those kills. You can use dynamite arrows, explosive rounds, or however weapon you really choose to get the kills in the Showdown. The bounty hunter roll, we've got uh, one that's brand new to us. We've got three living bounty targets in a photograph. Um, so that is really interesting. So living, uh, I'm wondering if you could actually, I, I, I'm going to have to test this, but I'm wondering if you can just hog tie them and then take their picture. If you can do that, I think that would work as long as they're alive, then that's all that really matters. I think that's how you would complete that one. Otherwise you'd have to take this photo. If you can't do it with the hog tie, then we're going to have to actually get close enough so you can actually take a picture of them. Maybe as them running away from you because they're scared because you killed off everybody else of all of their friends or whatever it might be. Uh, this one we had the same as the other day. We had two uh, bounties completed with at least one other posse member. Again, you're going to have to be in a posse with at least one other player. But if you're doing the other one and you have two other people in your posse, then you can do this one as well. And then you just get those two bounty targets completed or bounty missions completed. And then one player bounty collected. Now, if you guys are a veteran rank and a certain level, I believe that's level, what, 20 two now that you can actually go ahead and get offered smaller bounties i was offered one just a little bit ago for someone for like six bucks if you want to have those opportunities you don't necessarily have to but that is now a player bounty that you can now collect if you're a high enough bounty hunter rank otherwise you got to wait till they're 25 and they're very hard to do that so this one does require you for the most part to do this one with a friend and you basically take turns killing each other until you get a high enough bounty and then turn each other in uh, the trader roll, we got one Chris's special camp stew recipe completed. Whatever the ingredients are for this one, you just put them in the stew pot. They can be stuff that you can purchase from the stables, the catalog, um, the general store. You can find the herbs, or you might actually have to go on a hunting mission in order to get certain meat or whatever that whatever the requirement is for that one. And then we got six large animal carcasses donated to Crips. So it's going to be anything on the back of the horse. So cougars, panthers, um, pronghorns, deer, thing like that. We got one resupply mission completed with five minutes left. So basically do a resupply mission as fast as you possibly can. The bird eggs. Just need to find five bird eggs. Bird eggs, again, will be a part of cycle number six. Fossils will be a part of cycle number four. And then six total collectibles collected. You're going to get five bird eggs today anyway if that's what you decide to choose to do. Or you can loot everybody. I've literally been looting everybody. And I've gotten so many collectibles from the bounties that I've actually been looting. It is insane. I've gotten so much stuff from that. Uh, so you can easily do this just from doing the Bounty Hunter missions as well. Uh, I should show you guys where Madame Nazar is at now. Uh, Madame Nazar is actually going to be way out west, and she's going to be located south of Tumbleweed here in the Plainview area. Unfortunately, the fa closest fast travel location is going to be uh, Tumbleweed. Unless you put your camp here a little bit closer, then you might be able to get a little bit closer to Plainview. But you're still going to have to come down to this location if you want to visit Madame Nazar for today. Moving on to the next one, that's going to be the Moonshiner Roll. 
We have to drink our own strong moonshine, so whatever batch, it doesn't matter. It doesn't even matter what the ingredients is, as long as it's a, it's a strong batch. And then you got to do a sell within five minutes anyway, so you can brew up your batch and then go ahead and drink it, and then go ahead and sell it, and then sell it as fast as you possibly can. And then you just have to change your bar decor. So change the decor, you can either change the painting or the entire theme. It's completely up to you guys. And then last but not least, we got the naturalist roll. We got five animal samples taken within 10 minutes. I like to actually go after the goats or farmland animals, just because... The farmland animals are super easy to do, and a whole bunch of them are usually in the area. So Emerald Ranch or Valentine are a good spot. Valentine will have the sheep and pigs. Otherwise, Emerald Station will have goats, sheep, ox, and cows. Two blendings crafted or crafted or used. I don't think any of these are actually worth it, especially with the daily challenges paying out as low as they are. I would skip this one personally. If you guys actually do this one, please leave a comment down below because I really feel like nobody does this one anyway. And then anyway, we got three farmland animal samples, which if you do the five animal samples within 10 minutes, you could get both of those done. So honestly, for myself, those are the two that I'm going to do today just because I can get two of them done at the exact same time. And that's all that I plan on doing today, to be completely honest with you guys, because I really find that the daily challenges are really not even worth the gold any longer but that is everything done got over and covered for today if you guys did enjoy today's episode or found it helpful in any way then don't forget to like comment and subscribe down below it would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated but until next time youtube you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it and you guys stay gaming